So today we're going to learn how to make a slab box for beginners. So the first thing you want to do is cut out a piece of clay and just slam it against your board. And then you want to get two sticks that are the same size so that you can roll out your clay and it won't get too flat. And just roll it out until it's flat enough. So once your clay is flat enough, you just want to create the same motion that I am creating right now so that your clay can stretch out a little bit more. So for your next step, you want to make sure you have your cutout maquette and just place it over your clay and cut out the shape. Once you cut out your slabs, remember that they will be too wet to work with, so you have to wait until they're leather hard. So what you want to do to get to that stage is place your slabs on a drying board and then place that drying board inside of a bag and let them sit overnight. Remember to place another board on top of them so that they stay flat. For the following step, you will need a knife, a rib, popsicle sticks, a sponge, a ruler, and slip. So once your clay is leather hard, just like this, you want to take your rib and just score the clay. Make sure that you score your base and the piece that you will be attaching to your base. Once you have scored each piece that you will be attaching together, make sure to apply slip. Then you want to press your pieces together. After that's done, you want to get a piece of scrap clay and just roll it out into a coil so that you can weld your pieces together. There are many ways that you can weld your pieces together, but the way that I feel the most comfortable is just picking up my popsicle stick and indenting the clay so that it gets so that it is secure into the cracks of the other pieces you're putting together. So the next thing you want to do is move in an upward and downward motion and slide the popsicle stick across. Make sure to make it as smooth as possible. As soon as you're done securing your coil, you want to do the same thing to the outside and every other piece that you attach. If your pieces are too big, you can always trim them down. It's better to have a bigger piece than a smaller piece. You want to measure your slab and then get a ruler and cut it so that it's straight. Once you're done with that, remember to just coil, slip, press, and weld your pieces together. If you accidentally indent your clay with your nail, you can always get a piece of scrap clay and just smooth that over. Once you are done putting your walls together, the next thing you want to do is clean up your box. So you simply get a wet sponge Make sure that it's damp and just remove all crumbs and make it smooth. Once you're done smoothing out the walls of your box, you want to make sure you have a lid, just like the following one here. Make sure that your lid is slightly bigger than the rest of your pieces. If you didn't notice, the lid that I showed had coils on the inside to prevent the lid from falling off of the box. So what you want to do for that is cut out little pieces of clay or make coils and just score, slip, and press and make sure to weld. Once you are done making your stoppers, make sure to make the knob for your lid. For your knobs, make sure that they are hollow inside or else they will explode inside the kiln. Just remember to use the same methods of scoring, slipping, pressing, and welding for your knob.
once you have smoothed everything out, you're finished. There you have it, your very own slab box.